All right, Manuel Bros and Broettes. Today, I'm going to show you probably my favorite way of cleaning wheels. Um, my wheels, which are extremely well maintained, or wheels all the way to kind of this uh, level that looks like they've been driven through 100,000 um, different fields, mud fields, and all that type of stuff. Now, today, obviously, I'm going to be showcasing your wheel foam. Now, 90% of you who watch this channel will have most likely already tried 500 mil or five liters of wheel foam, and you have already fallen in love with it. Now, for the people who haven't tried it, I'm going to explain to you exactly what this amazing niche little product can really do for you. Now, wheel foam on its own as a formulation is a pH of 13, so it's extremely strong, it's extremely foamable, and it's extremely clingy. Now, in, in the cleaning department, on its own, it's a monster, okay? In the foaming department, it is the longest and the highest foaming and the longest dwelling um, wheel cleaning product out there. We have tested them all in 50 liters of each. You put this on, it's on your wheel, like, you know, shaving cream, it's not moving anywhere. Now, when I keep saying to you a three kind of, a three tier cleaning system, what exactly does that mean? So, of course, you could technically call it a two kind of step because the undress, irrespective of how you do it, is gonna have to be done anyway. So, of course, undress is gonna go on your tires. Your wheels is gonna go on your wheels. Now, this is where we should really focus on the wheels element of it, because wheels is a thinner consistency product. It has the potential and the tendency, of course, because it's thin, it's runny, um, to actually, if you are dealing in warmer temperatures, to actually dry out prematurely. Now, of course, you shouldn't be cleaning, you know, your wheel when it's hot to the touch, but if you do, that's obviously what happens with all thin kind of consistency liquids. Now, because wheels is a reactive product, 50% of it is, the beautiful thing about wheel foam is as soon as you let the product react, you put wheel foam over the top, and at that point, you have got yourself an indefinite reaction time because the actual wheel foam is keeping the uh, wheels wet. Wheels wet means it's reacting 24 seven. Now, on top of this, the dwell power of this is, again, activating the wheel foam, it's activating the wheels, unlimited dwell time. The cleaning power, as I said, on, on its own is legendary. So you combine these three things together and you've got yourself one hell of a wheel clean. Now, if you've got, so for example, we the story behind this or the quick story is we knew, of course, that we were getting our um, carbon ceramic um, 911 in 2020, 2021. So again, this is where the development for this kind of started. Uh, because again, on our, well, one of our cars, you can't use wheels because it's kind of a waste of a product. So wheel foam is the non-reactive, high pH, highly dilutable kind of product that is the, either the, the perfect topper or it is the perfect independent kind of um, wheel cleaning kind of solution. So as always, you need to rinse this first. So. As you've seen on the close-ups, it's got a lot of rock in there. You do not want to be scratching. You don't want to be taking something like large wheel woolly dry and scratching the wheel surface. You need to get this gone. So a thorough rinse is heavily advised. Now that the wheel is rock free, we're gonna first pre-treat the rubber. Let that start doing its business. We're gonna pre-treat the wheels. So, both independent products are currently right now eating into their respective areas. Now, watch what happens next. You get wheel foam. This is a 200 to 800 mil of water dilution. And now it's time to activate the two products indefinitely. Now, as you could see, we have, the way we have created the wheel foam 
it's got a couple of things in there that almost do not allow you to get rid of the foam unless you really wanted to. Now, it sticks around like a bad smell when you want it to, but when you do want to rinse it, it's not a self-activating formula, so as soon as you hit it, it's not gonna keep re-agitating itself. So it's clean rinsing when you've done the business and you're gonna be left with a spotless finish. All right, so still look, it's continuing to react. You now, you've got the wheels mixing with the wheel foam. You're getting that raspberry ripple effect. Now, you, it comes to cleaning. The biggest advantage of wheel foam that you're gonna get is the actual slickness power that it brings. If you have ever seen brake dust under a microscope, I have, it looks like a little kind of shard of just pure death and it just looks horrific. Now, if you think about it, you're gonna take, even though this is a very, very premium wheel brush made in the USA, you are still taking something, putting it on top of it and um, agitating it. Of course, you can't help that now. We're trying to mitigate as much of the potential damage that can ever be caused doing any task in this world. So, I've got my large wheel woolly. Now, the slickness that is now sat on top of the wheels, on top of the wheel foam, as soon as you put the brush in, one day just put a pair of gloves on and do this, right? You're gonna look like a right weirdo. However, it feels just, <laughs> it feels really nice. So the point is, like I said, you're not scrubbing away anyway, because that is not the goal. But even with me just moving it very lightly, you're feeling almost like a detail spray, ceramic spray sealant-like slickness. And basically what that means is the things that you are now agitating are simply just gliding across the surface. Now, if you've got a gloss black wheel, especially, they're, they're the worst. Or anything on a dark spectrum, so again, this wheel's on a darker spectrum, you are protecting this for thousands of potential future washers. Oh, yes. And get in between the caliper, the back of the caliper. Now, that is just horrid. So the wheel foam is basically the best friend that you never thought that you would need. So for example, as I'm doing this wheel, if you've got a very super clean wheel and you're a discerning individual, like I implore everybody to be, not just in car care, but in every parcel of your life, okay? You just wanna be the best version of you, right? And you've driven a couple hundred miles, even in the worst conditions, and you think, right, look, my wheel, it doesn't warrant the wheels treatment because, you know, you want to spe uh, save that special formulation. Hit it with wheel foam. It's got enough slickness, it's got enough cleaning power, you know, to keep your kind of maintenance kind of washers going. Now, if you've got a super horrific wheel like I am now, okay, not my fault. And I'm thinking, right, I don't want to scratch. I don't want to kind of have the wheels potentially start drying out on me because I really want to take, you know, my time and have a little bit of fun in between the caliper and all these type of things. Fantastic, you put the wheel foam right over the top and it's going to facilitate the wheels to keep kind of reacting. If you've got carbon ceramics, if you've got like a really high-end braking setup, uh, wheel foam only, that's the only thing that you will ever need, buy five liters of it while you're at it. It's relatively inexpensive and it's gonna last you literally forever. So that 200 to 800 mil dilution ratio, gonna last you if you do just say like one car, four, six, maybe even seven weeks if you push it, out of 200 mil. And then you've got another 200 mil and then you've got another 100 mil left in the bottle. Like that's if you get the 500 mil. So it's a very durable product and it's actually giving you something that no other product can give. And as you all know, you know how much I like to look after my rubber. Now the undress on its own, as you've already seen, is unbelievable. Now, if you think that the tire has got some extra gunk on it or some fish and chop grease from some cheap silicon dressing, or you just want to like literally murder any grease that is on the rubber tires and you just want to give it that extra punch and that poof like this, obviously the wheel foam as, as you could see, right? It's kept still there. That's where I've hit it with a brush accidentally. It's just not moving. It's just kept that undress reacting. So you come in, oh, 
And I know this shouldn't really matter, but it matters to me, but just the way it moves the product. It's just beautiful. You can use it on your engine bays. Form up your engine bay with wheel foam. It'll change your life. Look at that. Literally looks like somebody's been murdered in here, but it's a good murder scene. And that is my favorite way of cleaning wheels. It's safe, it's fun, it's extremely slick. I mean, that, oh, James, you're gonna love this. I mean, I've never seen metallic flake in your wheels before, brother, right? But you can see them for the first time ever now. Um, as I said, you should, your, your goal in life, in any area of life, but let's talk about this area of life, is to do preventative maintenance. If you've got wheels that you're finicky about, wheels that um, either require wheels, don't require wheels, and you just want that all-in-one topper product that is strong, safe, slick, cleans on its own, cleans with other products, wheel foam is your one. It lasts forever, and it just, it gives, I believe it gives that extra 25, 30% if um, you need extra bite or you need less bite. It's a total, uh, it's a total dilutable kind of cocktail for you. If you want it strong, make it strong. If you want it just like super, super, super weak, make it weak. You know, that control is firmly in your hands. So that is wheel foam. I hope again, I've, I've touched on a few kind of extra points of, of the formulation, which I never have before. Um, again, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've changed somebody's perspective on wheel cleaning. Um, and I will, of course, see you all on the very next episode with some more crazy, crazy product demonstration and talks. I'll catch you guys soon.